Oh god. Hi friends. Hello. I'm eating some animal crackers. This is a rather impromptu video. I don't normally record live commentary unless I am streaming. And normally when I'm streaming, I'm with, uh, I'm in a voice chat with others, so it's easier to keep a conversation going. So I'll probably have to cut, jump cut or whatnot when I have too long of breaks in between thought processes. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just doing this to practice speaking out loud and to myself and wording sentences properly because we all know I'm a brain lit. Uh, also to work on not saying uh or stammering as much as well. This is, again, just really to disclose information or talk about things I'd like to talk about while I grind on MapleStory, help with my ability to multitask, grind, and talk. I'm not going to pretend to know how to grind on Cannoneer because I really don't. I am just running around the map. I know I'm looting way too often. I know my summons aren't in the right spot. This map is just easy. I don't have to think about it. And my rates are okay enough. This is a 250 mil. Again, I don't really care about hitting peak efficiency right now. I guess it's just not the way I play anymore. I used to care too much about rates, and I would not grind if I was not making the correct rates, so now we're at the complete opposite side of the spectrum, where uh, as long as I don't realize what I'm doing, I will do it endlessly. Uh, besides the point... Um, gotta stop doing that. Stop saying, uh... I thought that this would be a fun time to talk about gripes I have with the game, as there will always be something I have gripes with, and unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how, who, what type of person you are, negative videos tend to do better in views and ratings wise. I don't know why that is, it just seems to be a trend, people like to hear negative opinions, so if I title this something something, if I title this something along the lines or that gives the connotation of negativity across, it'll probably get more views than like other things. Don't take this as a progression redux video because this isn't. Progression redux videos are a lot long, take a lot longer to make and not necessarily because of the editing process. It's just because I don't want to show hours upon hours of me grinding the same maps over and over again for the same rates over and over again. Especially when there's nothing like unique that I'm doing while I'm doing that. I I farmed countless hours on Kana, I farmed countless hours on Thunderbreaker, I farmed countless hours on AB and Mech. You don't need to see it, like, to understand that I've grinded a lot, I, again. So getting all those clips of, like, progression, milestones, takes time, and that's why they're so inconsistent. When I was weaker, I could have had a lot more videos out, in all honesty, but there was, like, they were just events that happened that I didn't think were worth making videos about because they weren't successful or they just ended in like, yeah, they ended in nothing to show for. So I didn't find it super impressive to watch and I wouldn't have watched it myself. I would have just sat around being like, okay, okay, so does he hit? Like, does he ever hit? Is he just this unlucky? Like, the Oz video I just recently uploaded, I've done, <laughs> as stated in a previous video too, I've done probably over 6 million points at this point. That's, that's the, what, my guild is wagering what other players who have seen my re my record records of like data records of are estimating I'm at like past six mil because we're not positive. What I can tell you is I've done over six hundred hours of Oz, a hundred percent positive. I've done over six hundred hours of Oz. You don't want to see me running to forty one F, clearing it, entering forty two, and just leaving immediately, saving up five. To, like anywhere between one box to 50 boxes and then opening for nothing. You just want to see the highlights, don't you? So that's why the only video of... There's only two Oz videos. One of me molding out of my mind, which you can't hear because it's just got a, bit, a song over it, and the other one where I pop off because that's actually entertaining to watch. At least in my opinion. It doesn't... I don't... I've never been one to really care about views. This is like... YouTube has always been like a hobby and like for my own record keeping. It's just cool that other people find it enjoyable to, to hear me speak or whatnot. It's it's nice. It's gotten me uh, connections with people that I didn't think I would know otherwise. Other than that, though, I'm gonna... I've been talking for already five minutes, so let's see if I can keep this under 15 minutes. Just, I'll 
trying it. I'll just ramble for 15 minutes. We'll see what happens after that. Progression Redux videos take time uh, because I only want to show m milestones. And unfortunately, that means less uploads because I'm not, I don't have any characters with, I don't have any second mains that I've really like fully committed to. Like this is probably like the, the third most funded character. Uh, actually, no, that's a lie. My mech is probably the most funded character, potentials wise. Kana is also extremely funded with a lot of time invested in it. Even the second Kana is extremely funded with a lot of time investment in. All of those uh, farmers, those three farmers I just said, the two Kanas and my mech, all have 200% drop or more and 100% meso. So, for ref frame of reference. And then the mechanic has all 20 star CRA and everything else is like 17. The primary con is on its way to 5 set arcane, or it is 5 set arcane, it's just not starred and potted yet. It's legendary, just not potential correctly with two lines or anything. Because I do have intentions of liberating it now because I don't know what else to do with the money. I could work on WSC, I could perfect that on my Thunderbreaker, but what I'm realizing now, and I've realized in the past, is I can fund that class as m more than necessary to just make my life easier. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm gated from content anymore. The class is abysmal to play and I am getting hard carried in like everything I do. I can barely carry hard lucid by myself. Uh, I can finally clear hard lucid P3 by myself. I'll probably have the, the P3 solo up soon enough because I don't think you want to sit through the whole video when I'm just going to upload it again in a, what is it, two, three months? when I do the liberation version of it. Uh, Roar 4 is a godsend, thank god. I'm probably, it's probably gonna take me a few attempts to clear the liberation version, in all honesty, because I will monkey something. Speaking of monkeying yesterday, and besides the cannoneer, uh, yesterday I tried doing live streaming the Hardamian. I got buffed out of the a my ass so hard, and then I went into the non-liberation mode of Hardamian because I am that much of a monkey. Fun times, I had to leave immediately. I had 10 lives instead of the five, was the way I could tell. Uh, so, read, just remember to read. This game has been a part of my life for far too long. I've only been consistently playing it for, I say only, for close to four years. It'll be four years this January. But I've been playing this game, I'm 22 now. I've been playing this game since I was, what? In second grade, I believe. Would that be right? I be, yeah, eight or nine is, I believe, when I started playing this game. So second or third grade. Uh, and it's evolved over time, and the game changes, and I'm glad I'm playing the version that it is now, even though the current version is has parts of it that I really have despised or distaste, have a huge distaste for. Especially with uh, how exclusivity cont exclusive content is handled nowadays. Like this GUI event is was an absolute joke at the beginning. It's still an absolute joke. I, I mean, like the buffs are nice, but it's a joke. All that crashing was not worth the buffs. I guess the double Oz boxes was worth, but the the crashing uh, was not enjoyable whatsoever. Got me my roar four at least, so I guess that's something. Second time we've ever had this event. Fun fact, the only other time we've ha had a double Oz box event in GMS was when the Black Mage event occurred back in, what was that, 2019, I believe? Hopefully it was 2019. Hopefully I'm not crazy. I've seen players come and go. I've seen myself lo lose interest and gain interest over time, but like I've stayed consistent at least. I'm sorry I don't have a clear topic for this video. I originally was just going to vent about Thunderbreaker, but I don't think that's entertaining. Because <laughs> it'll just be me saying the same shit over and over again. Class has no burst. Class has too much end lag. Uh, the class is just weak overall. I don't have any redeeming factors. I have no party utility. SI does not fucking count. SI is actually useless in the coming months. Because all the classes that need it to hard cap will be able to hard cap by themselves. I guess you could argue Mechanic and uh, Corsair could use it because they don't use uh, 
plus one attack speed to hard cap because hard cap is irrelevant to them or it's like so minuscule amount of their ba like the the attacks that are affected by attack speed that they just don't bother with it they go for other plus one uh, like plus one passive skills on mechanic and plus 20 percent boss on corsair i believe uh please don't mind my rotation i know it's bad and it's overloading so hopefully no true connoisseurs of cannoneer farming are watching and going to judge me too hard it's this isn't something i've tried to perfect at whatsoever just trying to get to 250 and be done with it two levels away from 8.5k legion in terms of updates other updates is i got my kish mule to 265 so i can forever train in hotel uh not hotel arts and burnium if i ever decide to push levels on my main still waiting on back pets if that would be the motivation to go train because I did not loot on the way to 275 and I lost a lot of meso. A lot of meso. Uh, does it really matter in the long run? Probably not because I still hit. I got lucky enough. But still a lot of meso that I could have had that I don't have because I was lazy and also just didn't like the maps that were good for looting because they were not very good for looting at the t or they were not very good for EXP at the time or they were highly contested that's neither that's over though I'm already 275 don't have to worry about grinding in Lumina anymore except for I guess my Kana and any other thing I tried to push to 275 haha <laughs> if I do that I say I always say that now Again, I am sorry for the rambling. I don't even know if I'll end up uploading this. And if I do, uh, God bless if you manage to sit through, what is it, the 12 minutes I've been recording so far. Probably not going to do any fancy editing. Probably the only thing I'll probably do is try and come up with for a title of this because depending on the reception, I might make more of this because I do enjoy rambling to myself. As, because as I've stated before, I'm insane. Uh... But I also feel it's nice to get your thoughts out there and just iron out what you're, what's what's jumbled up in my head. Because I deal with that all too much. I had a million topic ideas for this video and I didn't say to stick to any one of them because I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about. I was originally going to talk about my experiences with MapleStory over the years. I was originally going to talk about my experiences with Thunderbreaker over the years specifically. I was going to talk about what I want for Thunderbreaker. I'm going to talk about my future plans and goals. Again, millions of things relating to MapleStory that I could talk about. I could write a fucking essay on Thunderbreaker if I needed to. Hell, I have written essays on that Thunderbreaker. Not formal essays, but essays for of information for that can be used by the other strikers and Thunderbreakers in the community on that I was originally planning to make a Thunderbreaker guide uh, but with the changes that keep coming to KMS and then just taking so long to be implemented in GMS I'm not sure I would ever want to make a true video guide because I'm unsure and now with the Explorer revamp on the horizon I am I might be okay that that's gonna kill my Kishmule no it, it's dead okay uh, I might be hoping you know have a glimmer of hope that you know the sickness nights will be afterwards because then we're going on the timeline sickness nights released right after or not right after but after explorers or after pirates and then which was an explorer branch but either way i do have some hope that the sickness nights will be adjusted in some way shape or form it's kind of hard <laughs> To, if you look at the KMS DPM charts, half of the Sickness Knights are like down in the gutter, or at least a third of them, because I know Wind Archer and Thunderbreaker are like the very, very bottom, like bottom of the barrel, scraping the bottom of the barrel. But even then, considering where Blaze Wizard is in theoretical damage, its realistic damage does not up to snuff either. Like that class has burst and some party utility, but in the solo setting, ugh. Orbital Flame is a garbage skill. For skill percentage on it, skill damage on it, and line count. I mean, line count's not as relevant anymore, but the skill percent on it, like the damage it just out does, is kind of makes me feel bad about for them. And I play Thunderbreaker. I 
in my genuine opinion, I honestly think Blaze Wizard and Thunderbreaker are the worst two classes in the game. Uh, even BT has party, like, in terms of Blaze Wizard, Blaze Wizard does very little damage outside of burst, and but at least has party utility. Also has the added benefit of being able to animation cancel in GMS, which is not a feature in KMS actually, I've learned, because when I was researching what differences there are between KMS and GMS classes, or like KMS classes in GMS, that was one of them, the ones I learned, which is really cool, nifty. Nifty trick you can pull off. Uh, but besides the point, Blaze Wizard does no damage. Thunderbreaker has pitiful burst and is not safe during attacking in its uh, attack sequence. Uh, has some very limited, like minuscule amounts of party utility right now, and that will be completely removed in the coming months when every class can hard cap when they're optimized. Or every class that cares about being hard cap can hit it. I have this hypothesis, or I don't even know if it's hypothesis. It's but like, DPM charts are obviously supposed to be taken with a grain of salt. I don't know why I placed that there. Anyways, GPM charts are also usually to be taken with a grain of salt. That I know for sure. Because there are, of course, classes. There's like the difference between realistic damage and theoretical damage. But looking at the realistic damage that a Thunderbreaker can put out being low, obviously lower than the theoretical damage it can put out, and then being bottom of the barrel then doesn't make for a great time. I will have to try and figure out and how I'm going to iron out these types of talk, these, these chats I want to have with myself that I'll probably upload my, my random rambling. Uh, maybe I'll come back with another video. Who knows? Right now I'm going to try and finish this totem. So, because it has been 17 minutes of me rambling, jumping from topic to topic with no coherency, and I feel I can do better. So we'll, we'll see if this video gets uploaded. We'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. You, you guys will know.